Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you what boudoir photography is. Someone said in a group that boudoir was whatever you want it to be. And that's not correct. It would be like if I went into a Mexican restaurant and ordered quesadillas and the waiter put a plate of flapjacks and said, that's how we do our quesadillas. How do you like them? No, that's not going to work. And it doesn't work with other things. And it doesn't work with photography genres and with categories. We have these categories for a reason. So there are definitions and we're going to go over them. So I have a few websites, a few dictionary websites on the screen here, and we're going to look at each one of their definitions of the word boudoir, starting with the word boudoir first, not even getting into photography yet, just boudoir. So what is boudoir? And according to Oxford language, it is a woman's bedroom or private room. According to Merriam-Webster, it is a woman's dressing room, bedroom, or private sitting room. Okay, Wikipedia. Boudoir is a woman's private sitting room or salon. It, and they go, they go even further. In a furnished residence, usually between the dining room and the bedroom, but can also refer to a woman's private bedroom. This is dictionary.cambridge.org. They say a boudoir is a beautifully decorated room used in the past by a woman for sleeping, dressing, relaxing, and entertaining. The Britannica Dictionary says a woman's bedroom or private room for dressing or resting. Dictionary.com says a woman's bedroom or private sitting room. Okay, so I think we get the idea. We're talking about a woman's room of some sort. It could be a bedroom, it could be a sitting room, but whatever it is, is it's private. Okay, that's the number one, that's kind of the main word in all of these definitions. It's a private setting. Then you say to yourself, okay, well, what is, that's great. What is boudoir photography? Well, boudoir photography is a photo of a woman in that setting. Now, there's some characteristics that go along with boudoir. Now, I was never taught this. This is something that I just inferred from all the photos that I see. Whenever I do things like Google, whenever I Googled or searched for boudoir, what I found was typically a woman in a private setting and in lingerie or some sort of lingerie or nude or some variation of that and with natural light. That's the other thing. That's the characteristic or an attribute that is overwhelmingly dominant whenever you look at boudoir photographers. Is it's, it's almost 100% natural light. If you Google boudoir photography, then you'll get examples like this. Natural light coming in from the window. Natural light coming in from the window cascading over the model here. Natural light cascading over the model through curtains more just kind of off axis lighting. That's the other thing is this is natural lighting coming off axis from the lens. More natural light photos here. This is all natural light. Okay, another characteristic that you may see is black and white. That's not necessarily in my opinion a defining characteristic, but oftentimes you'll see some boudoir photographers, for example, all they do is sh shoot in black and white. Okay. So what does this mean? Looking at this, at this photo, for example, let's take a look at this one. I get sensuality from this. I get a little bit of mystery. I don't know who the woman's, what the woman's face is. I don't know what she looks like. There's a little bit of mystery there. The light itself cascading around the model and basically giving kind of a rim light, that adds to the mystery. Sensuality, beauty, grace, art. Those are the kind of keywords that I think of and that come to mind whenever I see a boudoir photograph. In this one, for example, more mystery. Look at this. This is a great photo. Ashley Durham photography. I don't know who she is, but that's a great photo. She's gripping the end of the bed. And this one almost kind of borders on erotica a little bit because, you know, what's going on that's making her grip like that. But you also have photos like this where we have basically a maternity shoot, but it's like maternity boudoir right? Art. This is artwork, guys. Now, it can be se sexy. You know, mainly sensuality is what I think about, but it can be sexual too. Now, the thing is, is when you start getting into sex appeal and sexuality, other attributes start to diminish. So things like the mystery starts to go away. 
the sensuality starts to go away and it starts becoming more about sex and sex appeal. And that gets you into the land of glamour. So if we do a search for glamour photography... So let's take a look at what Wikipedia thinks. Glamour photography is a genre of photography in which the subjects are portrayed in erotic poses ranging from fully clothed to nude. For glamour models, body shape and size are directly related to success. This is basically what I'm talking about. Glamour models, body shape and size are directly related to success. So this is less about the art, less about the sensuality, more about sex appeal, and more about the model than the overall aesthetic and feelings that a boudoir photo could evoke in you. It's more about lust, if we're going to get down to it, okay? So that's what glamour photography is. When I think of glamour, I think of magazines like Playboy and men's magazine like like Maxim, Sports Illustrated, uh, swimsuit models. That's glamour to me. Now, does that mean boudoir can't be sexy? No. Boudoir can absolutely be sexy, and the women in it can can have sex appeal like this shot. For example, this is overwhelmingly sexy. It's a beautiful figure. Everything is beautiful about it. It's artistic, and she's very sexy. Um, same thing in this kind of photo. Beautiful model. It's a, it's a softer light. It's natural light in a kitchen, private room, sensuality, a very um, tempting look. I mean, this isn't... This is about sex appeal, but this is, again, more. it's the style with which it's presented, more about the artwork. Another example here of a model up against a wall in lingerie. Here, a very sensual look. Here is a bridal boudoir where we have uh, the bride who uh, you can see her legs kind of defocused in the background, and then you see the ring, the engagement ring here. Here is a natural light photo of a model on a couch and she's looking out the couch and again definitely sexy but it's more about that natural light feel and the artwork okay i hope that makes sense i hope that little tour of boudoir and glamour helps kind of solidify it in your head as to what what actually boudoir is again we can't just say it's whatever we want there are there are Examples out there replete throughout the internet. If you ever wonder the difference, just do a Google search or just come back to this video. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell to support me. We'll catch you next time.